The Maludia Pufung local municipality in the Free State could soon see protest action. Kasatu in the province has issued a Section 77 notice to the National Economic Development and Labor Council. The Trade Union Federation is planning to engage in a socio-economic industrial action over the provincial government's failure to provide basic services to the municipal residents. For more on this, I'm joined by Munyato Wa Mahlati, Kasato Free State Secretary. A very good evening to you. Thank you for joining us on Newsroom. Africa. What has pushed you to the state? Good evening, Mayor, and good evening to your listeners. Uh, we have been engaging with the provincial government, the current and previous municipalities, about the problems that are experienced by our members in that area, and we have not been seeing a, an answer that is bringing a permanent solution, and that's what has prompted us to take even a firmer action on this matter because livelihood of our members and the community at large is really at stake here. The problems that you speak to point to unreliable water and electricity supply having not been um, resolved and of course with the detrimental impact not only for households but business, jobs uh, and people's livelihoods. Perhaps expand uh, on that. Thanks for, for the opportunity again. We, our members would wake up in the morning to go to work and when they arrive in the factories they will not be able to work because machines cannot operate. Uh, because there's no electricity. And in many instances, when they are returned home, they are not paid for the time that they have spent traveling and uh, waiting at work, hoping that electricity will come. So you'll find a situation whereby workers will go to work for the whole week, and because they are hourly paid, at the end of the week, they will have nothing uh, being paid to them in a form of a wage or a salary. That affects them in terms of their income at the level of the workplace. But on the other hand, normally workers would buy groceries and ration the groceries across the month or across the fortnight, depending on who, I mean, who, when does one get paid. Now, with the problem of electricity in Maludia Pofu, workers are unable to buy groceries with their, uh, whatever that they may be able to buy and ration that because they can't rely on their refrigerators at, how, at homes because sometimes a whole week passes by without electricity being there. So because of that, workers are forced to a situation whereby they have to buy food on a daily basis, and that is unaffordable. So that is why we're saying workers are facing double jeopardy. They're being affected at work because there's no income at the, at the other level at home. They're also affected because they are not able to provide for their families because they are not even being paid a living wage. In fact, the Auditor, uh, Auditor General has identified some irregularities at uh, Malutu uh, Apofong and really cited the reasons being linked to poor financial management, saying that uh, financial, annual financial statements have not been submitted since the year 2018, which has further exacerbated your problem. You've now moved to getting some sort of assistance with NEDLAC. Are you confident in their processes? The people that we have requested NEDLAC to invite to the, to the discussion table because the process is that once we file this Section 77 notice, we expect NETLEC to facilitate a discussion between us and the people we expect a response from. So we have also included the Office of the Deputy President. If you may recall, the Office of the Deputy President was intervening on the issues of electricity in that area. So we hoping that because we have invited the, the second highest office in the land, we'll find a positive response out of, out of this uh, whole process. And that's our hope that situate, I mean, we might get a different situate, I mean, response uh, this time around. What will you do if you fail to find a permanent solution? If we fail to find a permanent solution, then NETLEC will issue us with a certificate that tells us that 
we can embark on a, a legal uh, industrial action, which will be called a socioeconomic strike. And uh, that's where we're heading if we are not going to get a, a, a better solution out of this process that we are engaging in. But at this point, we're hopeful that at the level of NetLag, and the offices that we have invited to come in, and the fact that their integrity will be at stake if this matter is not resolved, we are hopeful that they will do their best to resolve this matter. But if they don't, we are ready to go on action in support of our demands. And how will you mobilize this action should push come to shove? We, we have already started mobilizing our members. We have already started informing our members that this is the, the step that we have taken. We will be engaging in meetings uh, in, in the area of Malutia Pofum, but we have started to make sure that all our members across the free state understand what is it that we want to achieve with this matter. And once that has been, uh, has been done, will then identify the days whereby there will be picketings, uh, identify the date where there will be that uh, provincial or local strike, whatever format that we may decide on when time arrives, and the notice will go out and we'll be able to mobilize workers and community around these demands. Mm. And in terms of time frames, what are you looking at? We, we are approaching this matter in a very open-minded way. We have received a confirmation from NETLEC yesterday confirming that our section, our section 77 notice is in order, and they have uh, promised us that they're working on finding a date where ourselves, as the people who have applied, who have filed the notice, and those who are supposed to respond, will then be convened to net like uh, to go and have a discussion. Based on the first meeting and its outcome, we'll then be able to clearly come out with clear time frames. But NetLag understands that this is a matter that is very urgent, and we hope for that we will get a date very soon. Very well. Thank you for speaking to us. Uh, Kasatu Free State Secretary Munyato Wa Mahlazi speaking to the um, urgent action, the Section 77 notice uh, which compels NEDLAC to assist.